Today in Module 2, Lesson 4, we worked on a couple of different concepts. One of the things we worked on was finding equivalent expressions. So here's the directions, and be really careful because they always like to trick you. Look at the directions. Circle each expression that is not equivalent to the expression in bold. And what does equivalent mean? If you said equal to, you're correct. So we're looking for expressions that are not equal, not equivalent to the expression in bold. And here is my expression in bold, 37 times 19. So let's look. I have four different choices here. Let's look at the first one. What I like to do is read them aloud to myself because sometimes I hear it. Um, it makes more sense to me when I say it out loud. So 37 19s. Well, I know that's the same thing as 37 times 19. So that is equivalent. I cannot circle it. Look at the second one. 30 times 19 minus 7 times 29. Now I see a lot of different things. I see multiplication, I see subtraction, I see parentheses, but you have to keep PEMDAS, order of operations, in your mind. We went over this yesterday in class. PEMDAS. P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, multiply or divide, whichever comes first, add or subtract, whichever comes first. So in this equation right here, my parentheses comes first, so I don't have to solve what's inside those parentheses, but I don't want to sit there and figure out 30 times 19, 7 times 29. I just kind of want to look at the numbers and see what's going on. So I see 30 times 19, and then I see 7 times 29, but I don't really know where they're getting this 29 from. So my first thought is this probably is not equivalent, but I'm just going to go a step further and look. I have this 30 and I have this 7, and here's where you could be easily fooled. You might say to yourself, oh, 30 and 7, maybe that's 37. But look, you have to find the difference. Difference means that you're doing what? Subtracting. So 30 minus 7 would not give me 37. So this is not equivalent. Moving on, another set of parentheses. Well, I know 20 minus 1 is 19. 37 times 19, that is equivalent. I cannot circle it. And finally, the fourth one, 40 minus 2 is 38. 38 times 19 is not the same. It is not equal to, it is not equivalent to 37 times 19. Another concept that we worked on today was solving using mental math. So they give me an equation that says 11 times 26, and I have to complete blank 26s. Very easy just to fill in the number that is missing. So 11 26s. Now, just filling in my little blanks here. I love when they tell me to think because here they are, they're giving you a clue. They're helping you out. So blank 26's plus blank 26's. So I have to come up with two numbers that when I add them together, I get 11. So I'm just going to choose 10 26's and 1 26's. Or 26, I should really say. So all I need to do is I need to bring this down. 10 26's times 1 times 26. So now I solve 26 times 10, very easily, 1 times 26 is 26, and I have 1, 0 to add. 1 times 26 is 26. Now, some of you may be able to add this in your head, but it's totally acceptable for you to add this on the side if you need help. And I get a total of 286. Okay, so they're just breaking it down for you so you understand this concept. Now, they may want you to change it up and want you to write in the word form. So if it says 19 times 11, I've already used the 19, so that means my word form is going to be 11. My unit is going to be 11. 19 11s. 11s, plural. So think, here is my clue. Here is my clue. Think. 20 what minus 1 what? Well, all you have to do really is bring down your word form. 20 11s minus 1 11. Now, same thing. I just keep bringing it down. 20 times 11 minus 1 times 11. Where am I getting those 11 from? The 11s from? Look, right here, right here. All you're doing is bringing it down, bringing it down. You ever watch The Price is Right where they say, come on down? You're just bringing that 11. You keep carrying it down, carrying it down. So 20 times 11, 
Well, I know 11 times 2 is 22, and I just have to add one zero. 1 times 11 is 11. Now, if you can add the same thing, if you can subtract this in your head, because we are subtracting, we are subtracting, you can. If you need to show your work on the side, again, that's completely acceptable. I know that 220 minus 11 is 209.